What's up guys, my name is Kelvin and today I'm back with another video in the world. Since it was my birthday, I said to myself, let me visit this man who is the talk of the town so that we can get to know him in person. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Hello Mr. Obed Jongwe, please may you tell us more about yourself. Yes, uh, like you said, my name is Obed Jongwe. I'm a Zimbabwean, I was born in the northern part of Zimbabwe, 1980. I grew up in the rural areas in Mount Derren. That's where I attended my primary schools and I also went to my secondary school in, in the same town. It is a school called Ruya Seventh-day Adventist School. And then afterwards, in 1998, then I had to move to Arare, the capital city of Zimbabwe. In 1999, I then met a friend at church when we were having some social activities at church on a Sunday. And then we were just sitting outside of the church as some youths and we were discussing about life. During the discussions, then a friend of mine by the name of John Jorofani came in with a, a topic, a new topic from the discussion where we just started discussing about employment and how to find employment. And from there, that's where everything else began because. I then looked at what he was doing because he was having some sketches in his hand and I asked him the significance of the sketches and what it meant to him and why he was making the sketches. At first because we just a church and he didn't know the reason why I was asking. He didn't give me satisfactory answers and I told him that I'm also very good at that. I can also do some, some drawing. And then from there he then asked me to do something form of sketching and which I did and showed him and he got impressed and he had to take me to the National Gallery of Zimbabwe. That was my first visit into an art institution and then I got inspired. What inspires you? I'm that kind of a person who gets fascinated with almost everything. So what I see and feel is that so I paint. So that's what inspires me. I'm looking at that piece of art. Can you give us a brief about that a piece of art? Uh, this painting, I took the idea from the riots and protests which were happening in the town some previous days. And just tried to use some mixed medium to build up the, the concept. But basically, my main concept comes from the Bible. I was painting on impressionistic techniques previously. And then I thought of making a transition into something more contemporary. For me to be successful with this one, I thought I should maybe <laughs> start working on things which I really know. So things which are common with me is that I am a very religious person. I know much about it. So what I'm going to tell you now, it's all about religion. So I took that concept from the Bible. It's from Matthew chapter 20. All right. Matthew chapter 20 gives us the world history from the beginning to the end, but uh, starting from the time period when the Bible was introduced into the world uh, by the first prophet Moses. Yeah. So from that time, then God sort of like employed a set of laborers at three hour intervals. So on that parable, we are represented uh, with the ninth hour laborers right. who come at least three hours just before the end of the day. So. The ninth hour laborers, there's one funny thing about the ninth hour laborers. The funny thing about them is that they are the only laborers who get another set of laborers employed during their time of working. So we see the eleventh hour laborers coming in to show us that during that time, the ninth hour laborers must be having a problem. There must be a problem with them. So looking at what is happening to this world, we really see that there is a problem with us because we are tending to ignore the most important things in our life because we are kind of overtaken with the social media and our main focus is and our attention is mostly on those things. You know, we spend most of the time on Facebook, we spend most of the time on WhatsApp, we spend most of the time on Instagram and all those social media stuff and ignoring the most important things, you know. Today, if you could find a kid out there and ask them 
uh, when last did they have time with their parents? When you sudden to hear that they rarely spend time with their parents. Yeah, and if yeah. you ask the reasons why, fine, these are the things happening. Social media, a lot of traveling, they have stuff happening. Business, all those things, they're taking place. The most important things. And not only children, we have also ignored nature. And there's a lot of pollution in nature, you know. We talk of global warming, there's less rainfall these days. The sun is burning, it's scorching. And quite many other factors that we could look at and all this is coming from our contribution so looking at that uh, I thought maybe this is the time period when we, I should maybe work on this concept to try and conscientize my fellow beings that hey guys time is overtaking us and things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse so we don't know what is going to happen when the 11 to hour period comes because it will be we will only left with an hour to the end of the day. So the end of the day according to the Bible is the end of the world. So we really need to do something and I think these paintings will bring about that uh, information to conscientize the whole world about what is befalling us. A lot of activities there happening on these pieces of art. People traveling. And there's really a lot happening socially, politically and all, right. all kinds of stuff all kind of things contributing to whatever is affecting this generation. So, Mr. Jongwe, you seem to be progressing with your talent. What is bringing all this growth? Um, I would say, for starters, <laughs> <laughs> for starters, uh, practice makes perfect. Right. I spend most of my time in the studio. And also, the other thing is never to be ignored is that uh, you need to be a studying person, you need to keep on researching. I yeah. read a lot of books. And I, I, I mix a lot with other artists yes. and also uh, I get some form of mentorship from friends, artists like uh, here I work with Jenny and some other artists who always come visit my studio and I ask them to give uh, some, some form of some critics um, and all that is improving my, my techniques and, and, and my work which I'm quite uh, appreciative and also not ignoring the base of everything you know Diet also plays a bigger role yes. uh, in terms of uh, progressing in life. I've changed my diet, mm. uh, which I've seen also contributing much, and it is working uh, very, very good for me. Since you say uh, you've changed your diet, what type of food do you eat? Now, I wouldn't say strictly, but let me say I am now a plant based person. Person, yes. All right. You know, Diet plays a big role in life because everything else starts with your diet. But if you're feeding from happy plants and happy food sources, then you know everything else becomes happy because <laughs> everything else, you know, the, 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 our, our environment determines who we are. So food plays a bigger role. So I decided to move into plant-based okay. and also looking at the fact that uh, people are not compromising. Like uh, everything else has been monetized. So, monetization compromises a lot because people are looking at uh, making profits. Yeah. So the quality of food which you find in the market today mm. is quality compromised. Oh, right. So, if the quality is compromised, what does that mean to, to us? It means if you feed on bad things, nothing good comes out of bad. Yeah. So, the only source of food which I trust is plants because plants they all scared is our first diet if you if you bring back into the bible if you read from the book of genesis yeah you know god gave us the help of the field yeah. all the help was seed producing they were given for us to be our meat so we take it from there there was a reason why god had discovered us that, that that kind of a diet ever since i started on this diet i feel myself energized i can work and work and when get tired, I don't uh, easily get hungry. <laughs> Meaning to say, plant-based diet is really awesome. It provides you the body with all the nutrients, which are important. Actually, I would say, in summary, it nourishes the, the human body. So if you've got a nourished body, you've got a, a nourished mind, and that improves you on your productions. Besides working in your studio, do you have other projects outside? See, I like to see progress in everything. I believe that there's a lot of talent out there. One very difficult thing in life 
is for people to identify their talents. So I have started a project I'm working with mainly kids, discovering their talents and helping them to discover their talents. So if I find those who can draw, I take them and I give them some lessons. Currently I'm working with the youth cafe where I've got a group of kids who comes for art lessons. So that means uh, that's, that's where you are giving back to the community. Yes, as a form of social responsibility, <laughs> I think it is very, it is a requisite to everyone right. to always look back and give back. Uh, where do you exhibit your work? I am currently exhibited at the Russo Gallery in Hermanas yeah. Town, and so many other places um, yeah. who are sister galleries to the Russo Mod. Who are your collectors? Um, I'll say my collectors are from locally. Uh, my biggest collectors are from all over the world. No. Mainly tourists. I would say I've got a big collection from, you know, I would say the international market. Uh, there is another thing which I want to ask is uh, about collaborating with other artists. Like now, whom do you want to collaborate with in the war of South Africa? I would say I would collaborate with anyone yeah. whose work is appealing to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone who's uh, open for collaborations. But uh, basically, I'm working towards an exhibition, a two-man exhibition between me and Billy. I'm mean, Billy Besta, he's quite a, a non-artist in South Africa whose subjects are very resistant, so focusing on resistant art. So we're going to be having an exciting and interesting exhibition together because I'm basically on social, political, but he's more onto political art. So it's going to be a very, very uh, interesting exhibition. Would you mind uh, giving uh, us a tour in your studio because I'm seeing many pieces of art on the wall. I don't mind. Yeah, so this is still work in progress. I would say all of the paintings which are here, they are all work in progress. Uh, I'm still building them up, adding and subtracting some details. And they are all con coming from the same concept, Matthew chapter 20. I see. What advice would you give to me? Youths out there. It is very difficult to give some people advice. <laughs> 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 you know, it is important that people here discover who they are in life. Yes. And remain focused and become diligent. Determination is key to success. If the rich people whom we think they are rich, they still say they are striving. How about us, especially youth who are here to establish their lives? We need to be determined and we need to be more diligent. All right. As much diligent as we can be. Do you believe that if somebody follows his or her gift, that gift will make room for him or her? This is a fact. You see, you can't really deny that because God gave us these gifts so that we become dependent upon them. So if you don't use your gift, you're as good as that. So we really need to make use of our gifts and utilize them in a way that they become more profitable. Like I said, the most key thing is to identify the gift. Uh, thank you, Mr. Obed Jongwe, for having time with us. It's a pleasure. All right.